Hey, hey, art peeps today. Welcome in. I am excited as always. The holiday season is coming into full swing right around the corner. So we are doing Home Alone Kevin McAllister scream face going on here. And of course I got my awesome shirt that I got on here to match it and go along with it with the wet bandits on the side here. There is Kevin McAllister with his scream face. So that is, that is what we are going so to do. Let's get started. It's probably going to be about the size of your hand going up and down this time. Again, before we get too far along, hit that sure. subscribe button. That's easy easiest way to get all my free fun videos art videos ideas fun cool stuff ideas that we are doing here on mr shooty's art channel click the button and the bell that's the easiest way to get those now let's get started on our project i'm going to start with kind of an arch line for the top of his head uh if you want to do a dot on one side and a dot on the other then then we can do a nice big arch line nice and lightly don't want to make a mistake try to do it as best as you can a nice arch line doesn't have to be perfect Going on the top over there. And it can be a little bit bumpy because that's where his hair is actually going to go. Top, so I'm going to go over that a little bit darker. There you go. Awesome. And bring that down a little bit on each side because that's going to go kind of into his ears. And then it'll go back out and then loop around if that makes sense. So that's kind of like the C shape that we kind of do for our ears. Same thing on the other side. And now I can go over that a little bit darker on here. This one kind of loops up in and then loops around. This one, same thing. Kind of goes over and then up to finish that in. And then his kind of side of his hand goes down and then over. And this one, same thing. It kind of goes down and then over. And I think if you get that kind of arch from one side, going up same thing on the other side that i think it'll start to get his kind, kind of, of face kind of getting smushed in okay, there the next part i'm going to do i'm trying to get this kind of v shape that's kind of in the middle of where his hands kind of make that v print in so i want to get a nice v in there but then i'm going to kind of connect with a line for his um like sleeves that he's wearing of his sweater so i want to get a kind of line from there and then goes up a line down to that middle. Next line I'm going to put is his mouth, his bottom kind of arched spot on the bottom for his mouth. That's screaming open. That really leads and kind of shows me where I can kind of put the fingers. There's really, I think, four. So it's kind of like a bump. So I'm going to kind of do them lightly. So I'm going to kind of get a bump on one. And then this one goes a little bit higher. And then the next one goes a little bit higher. And then that last one just has a little part of it. So I can go over that a little bit quicker. Over the same thing on the other side, again, I want to get those kind of arches that kind of go up. And then a little bit higher, and a little bit higher, and then that last little one kind of pinching into the side, so I'll go over that nice and dark. Good, now this kind of looks like a chin, so let's turn this into the mouth. So it kind of has a big kind of mouth opening on here, and that's just kind of the outside of the lips. And then that inside is a little bit smaller. So it's kind of like an arch line on the top, arch line on the bottom. Inside, it kind of goes the same type of style, but it's a little bit thicker. On the top and bottom, and then on the sides, it gets a little bit thinner, but you're still kind of following that basic shape. Maybe dipping it down a little bit there. And then on the top of the lips, it kind of makes kind of like that M shape where it kind of goes up, down, up. Okay. Now, now he's starting to look a little bit more like a head kind of getting smushed together by his hands. And up from there, let's go right onto the nose. So maybe kind of a finger space in between the nose. We'll do kind of two lines that kind of arch up and then down, up and then down. And then as I always do, little parentheses, one side and then another side. That'll kind of blend its way as it goes to the top. I do kind of a... Again, a curvy line, kind of where my glasses kind of sit on the top of my nose. And we know that kind of the eye shape will be kind of arching over here, arch over here. And then we want to make sure that we kind of save some room for kind of the hair that kind of comes across on his forehead. Eyes will be in the middle of the face. So it's pretty much in the middle on there. It'll arch up on one side. 
Okay, and then on the bottom part of the eye, it'll be another arch line that goes under on each side. And then a big, large circle, because his eyes are really open. And this, now he's starting to look a little bit more like it. And then a smaller circle inside the circle. That one will be colored in a little bit, except for a little bit of white. So we gotta give him some hair. So he has really kind of messy hair. So for the top of the head, again, it kind of goes up and down a lot of different pieces in here, kind of go up and down. And it's got a lot of these little like V kind of shapes in here. So you can kind of go up and down and it, as it kind of goes on an angle, it gets a little higher over on this side. Do that a little bit darker. Okay, he's getting there. I'm gonna add a little couple features onto the ears, a little curve on this side, a little line down here, curve down here, line up here, curve down here, just some kind of random lines. We're gonna give him some uh, eyelids. So like a curved line there, a little bit more animated of a curve. And then his kind of eyebrow on one side gets a little bit thicker on this side and then a little bit thinner on there. We're not gonna try to get too detailed. And then on the bottom here, I wanna start getting his little cuffs for his sweater that kind of comes across on here that's a little bit thicker. Kind of the little sleeves part on here. His shirt will go out to the side, a little bit on each side, kind of goes down and then over and down. Kind of make him look a little bit more like a person kind of fitting in here. And then I'm gonna just add some of those kind of crazy little lines to, um, to, to almost have the folds of the shirt. So kind of like a fold on this side, so we got a pretty good start now. I'm gonna go over some of these lines in Sharpie and start filling in um, with a little bit of detail. And then I got a little secret surprise for the background that I'm gonna do for that. So let's go through that real quick. So now it is basically just like a coloring sheet. You can put whatever kind of background, whatever kind of invention. put for his little obstacle courses that he makes the uh, wet bandits go through. You could put that in the background. You could put the house. You could put Home Alone, the logo. But I have something a little bit different. So I'm gonna do a little magical trick here and flip this around. Bam! How awesome is that? It got me definitely inspired from my pull in to get a little folding surprise, Scream Edward Munch, the screamer picture on there looking very similar in the background that's what I always think of when I see Macaulay Culkin on here scream that's what I created you do whatever you want with your background with your picture um but hopefully you guys had fun with this I know I did so as always I am Mr. Shooty this is Mr. Shooty's art channel we'll talk to you guys later